How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The Hot Wheels expansion has released today and I'm very lucky to have been playing it over the past week or so. Playground Games were very kind enough to let me do that, which means I have tons of Hot Wheels content to show you all. In this video, it's going to be sort of a beginner's guide to the Hot Wheels expansion. How it works, how the campaign works, how you can get these faster cars, because you can't drive fast cars off the bat. Just an overall beginner's guide for how you can expect the Hot Wheels expansion experience to go and how it all works. This will contain spoilers, so if you don't want spoilers, don't watch this. But if you want to know how it works and you need a bit of help figuring things out, this video is for you. If you do find this video helpful, please do consider subscribing. Let's get into it. So when you first launch the game and download the updates, I think there was about a 24 gigabyte update in total for me, or two 12 gigabyte updates. Go onto the Mexico map and you'll be given a new pop-up on your Mexico map, which is the Hot Wheels Expansion Expedition. Pretty cool. Once you drive through this expedition, it will give you a sort of a cinematic cutscene, which is pretty cool, in the overworld of three of the Hot Wheels cars launching up into the skies into the Hot Wheels area. It's pretty cool. Uh, come on, we have a slingshot to catch. And this cutscene will then lead into the starting race. As you can see on screen, you will be driving the Bad to the Blade car, one of the new Hot Wheels vehicles. And this is sort of a tour of the map before you get dropped into the map to do some of the campaign. So go to this expedition, have a look at the cutscene and do the first race. And that's where it will drop you into the campaign, which is where things start getting pretty cool. So after the first race, you'll have the usual woman in the bottom right hand corner talking to you about Hot Wheels and the blah 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 blah. But you will start off your Hot Wheels experience locked into B-class cars only. As you can see on screen, every car other than B-class cars are locked. You can get into them, upgrade them and paint them, but you're not allowed to drive them on the Hot Wheels tracks until you qualify for it. You can see what happens on screen when I try and take a C or A-class car out. Sorry, not C, an A-class car. When I try to take a car that isn't B-class out, it just says, no, you're not allowed to do that. This is where the Hot Wheels campaign comes into play as you need to progress through the campaign to unlock different car classes. You'll be given one challenge to start with and this is the qualifier for B-Class, the cars you are already in. It will mark up on the map straight away and you'll only be able to do it in B-Class cars. So if you go and do that straight away, you will then unlock the sort of the challenge campaign menus as you can see on screen. This is where all the magic happens. So there are five ranks in total. You've got the Rookie rank, which is B-Class, Pro rank, which is A-Class, Expert rank, which is S1 class, Elite rank, which is S2, and then Legend, which is X-Class. You'll start off in B-Class, and once you've done this B-Class qualifier, you will then be given a bunch of challenges to do. If you go within the B-Class sort of section, you'll see a bunch of major missions you can do, and then a bunch of mini missions. And all of these missions will give you points, or AKA, medals towards the next class. You'll see that they range from getting bonus boards to driving in a race, to winning a race, to doing PR stunts. All of these different challenges will give you medals towards your next thing. So as you can see here, I have to earn 144 more medals in B-class challenges to unlock a class as i said remember you are literally restricted to b class cars you cannot drive any faster cars on the map even if you wanted to you have to do this so get into b class cars do these challenges win a few races just have a look do whatever you want to do you're not restricted entirely to what you can and can't do you get given a bunch of challenges and you can pick and choose as long as you get enough medals and you'll also notice that along the way quite a lot of these missions actually give you prizes as well like clothes and cars and stuff like that. 
So you're in B class and once you have done all of the medals for B class, so in this case it was 144 for me, you will then be given the A class qualifier. You won't have the A class challenges just yet but you will have the qualifier race which is basically a challenge race to make sure you are qualified enough to do the A-class challenges. Once that pops up, you can go and do the A-class qualifier race, and then once you've completed that, just like the first race you did for B-class, that will give you the A-class challenges. And then you repeat this for every single car class. A class will have a load of mini missions to do. Once again, you can pick which ones you do. You'll find the higher class you get, the more points you'll get for each challenge, but the requirement will also increase as well. But the missions will be the same. You will then have access to A class vehicles, obviously, so you can drive any A class car to do the major missions, the races, the PR stunts, everything you want to do to get medals for then S1 class. You don't have to complete the whole section to be allowed to drive the cars, all you need to do is do the qualifiers. So once you've done the A-Class qualifier, that's when you can drive A-Class cars and do all the A-Class challenges. Now for the final two, it doesn't really tell you this, I was a bit confused, but once you've completed the S2 class, obviously you'll be given the qualifier for X-Class. Now it doesn't actually tell you this, but it pops up on the map with the Goliath race. The Goliath race is the X-Class qualifier. It doesn't actually say, this is the X-Class qualifier, go do this to become a legend. It sort of just gives you a new race, which is the Goliath race, and that is the X-Class qualifier. So once you've got to S2, completed all of the challenges and got the medals up to the requirement, you'll then be given a final race on the map, and that is the X-Class qualifier. Once you've completed that race, that's when you'll be able to do all of the X-Class challenges and basically drive any car in the game and that is the Hot Wheels campaign. I think it's kind of good they've done it like this because it gives you an incentive to go and do the campaign, but unfortunately, to me, it made me want to rush it and just get through it so I could drive the exciting cars, and by then, I'd done the campaign. So I, I, I guess I kind of liked it. Now, obviously, within the Horizon campaign, as I said, there are a bunch of challenges. All of the new cars are within here as well, and you also have the New Horizon story. You will find yourself doing the New Horizon story for the challenges anyway. And at some point on this channel, I will also have a map tour video which will tell you the dragon locations, as you will need to know some of the dragon locations for some of the challenges you need to do within each category. There are some missions to do to do with the dragons. But I hope this video has helped you out with figuring out how the campaign works and how what you can expect. It's not that difficult, but some people may need a bit of help with it, and that's how it works. If you have any questions or anything, guys, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to answer them. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.